Last month, we have used and reviewed the Ecovacs DBot T20 Omni. The robot vacuum is quite impressive, and I've been asked a few times when we are moving to a comparison with it. So today, we got our hands on another popular model, the S8 Pro Ultra from Roborock. These two robot vacuums both have decent functions of vacuuming and mopping. Today, we're going to check out which one will be more effective on dealing with the different scenarios and needs. The DBot T20 Omni or the S8 Pro Ultra, it will be an interesting comparison. So let's find out. Actually, I quite value the design of these robot vacuums, not only for the habits of being a reviewer, but also because they are devices that will be in the house with me every day. So it should ideally have a low profile look and be able to blend into different interior styles. The DBot T20 Omni has a relatively simple and integrated design, while the metallic bright surface paired with the matte finish looks very premium. On the other hand, the S8 Pro Ultra didn't really impress me, but the classic black and white is a design that can't go far wrong. When it comes to the design of the base with the water tanks and dustbins, the Ecovax model had the idea of hiding them for integrated and pleasing look, which is good for placing directly in your living room without breaking the interior style. But the Roborock base has a smaller size, which is more on the practical side. The S8 Pro Ultra has relatively smaller water tanks, which allows the height of the base station to be reduced to 45 centimeters. The water tank of DBot T20 Omni has a much larger volume, so if you need to clean a larger area without frequently emptying and refilling the tanks, the DBot T20 Omni is a smarter choice. By the way, I like the design of Ecovax dustbin, which is smarter and more practical. The DBot T20 Omni and the S8 Pro Ultra use different navigation solutions. The S8 Pro Ultra uses traditional IDS laser navigation. IDS is a mature solution and most robot vacuums in the market still use IDS laser navigation a lot. While the DBot T20 Omni relies on another solution which is DTOF navigation. DTOF can realize the 3D imaging which can recognize small objects and dark color objects that are difficult to be accurately determined by IDS laser navigation such as table legs. At this price, you don't need to worry about basic vacuuming performance at all. Both of them perform well. The same maximum suction power of 6,000 pa is on board. They both can handle dust and stains on floors and carpets with no problem. The Roborock model has a dual rubber rolling brushes at the bottom, which seems to expand the area of the dust collection port. But in actual running, it didn't really make a difference. As for mopping, the difference is that the T20 Omni support a 9mm mop lift. Compared to the S8 Pro Ultra's 5mm mop lift, the Ecovax model is more adaptable to different carpet heights. It prevents the mop from coming into direct contact with the carpet and prevents wetting the carpet. We all know that the edges and dead corners of the floor are difficult to clean for the round looking robot vacuum. The T20 Omni support edge deep cleaning. To improve vacuum efficiency, I set up an automation of this mode on the Ecovax home app and run it once a week. Unfortunately, the Roborock does not offer a similar feature. As for mopping, the DBot T20 Omni's mop made of a chenille material has better water absorption, and the two mop pads offer 180 RPM and 6M of downforce. The Roborock S8 Pro Ultra uses a high speed vibration of the mop to clean the floor, and the mopping performance is also great. The DBot T20 Omni washes the mop cloth with hot water, which not only makes the mop cleaner, but also helps more effectively clean the stains, such as dripping coffee, liquids, shoe soles carried into the home, and so on. The feature is currently only available from Ecovacs, so it may be the most important reason if you go for the T20 Omni. Both the DBot T20 Omni and the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra can have cleaning solutions added to them to enhance the cleaning. My only complaint is that the S8 Pro Ultra can only use the cleaning solution made by the brand. In terms of drying, the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra's mopping pads don't fit as tightly against the base for optimal drying as the DBot T20 Omni, so the whole drying took a longer time. And the app suggests that drying the mop would take about 3 hours on the Roborock model. Compared to DBot T20 Omni, which has the mop closer to the dry air path, so the mop can be completely dry in 2 hours after cleaning. When the robot vacuum has been running for about a month, you might need to manually clean it once. First of all, Ecovax provides a cleaning toolkit, which is very convenient, but we couldn't find any of those from Roborock vacuum. For dust bin and rubber brush cleaning, both of them can be removed easily and cleaned with water directly. However, for water tank cleaning, I prefer the Ecovax design since it can be fully open for easier cleaning. But overall, I'm happy with the both robot vacuums when it comes to manual cleaning. In fact, they don't require much manual cleaning work. 
In terms of software, the apps for both Ecovacs and Roblox are very well designed and user friendly. I can easily figure out different cleaning modes in the app. Notably, Ecovacs offers a worry free mode, and Diva T20 Omni will clean the whole house with just one click according to the user's home environment and cleaning habits. Both of them support Google and Alexa voice interaction. Diva T20 Omni has an exclusive voice assistant, Eco. Just say, OK, Eco. Start cleaning. OK, Eco. Back to charge. During the use, I found the Eco voice control very sensitive. In terms of noise control, we set the suction power to the maximum in the app for both of them, and the recordings you hear were made at 50 centimeters directly above the robot vacuum. So it seems that the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra sounds a bit noisier. Overall, both Ecovacs Diva T20 Omni and Roborock S8 Pro Ultra have very powerful cleaning performance and user-friendly software, so you won't choose wrong between either of them. But considering the price, I think the Ecovacs Diva T20 Omni is still more competitive with the versatile features. So what would you choose? Which one fits your needs better? I'd love to hear your ideas in the comment below. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Your support means a lot to us. This is World Funkism China. See you in the next video.